As we develop a more complete picture about how the world is reacting to climate change, scientists are making some surprising and seemingly counterintuitive findings. The latest data on the Gulf of Maine could affect the state's lobster industry and maybe even tourism. Brian Retton is here now with an explanation about what researchers are finding. Hey, Ryan. Well, Sam and Brian, scientists at NOAA are observing a surprising shift in the Gulf of Maine, where deep waters are now cooling after decades of warming. So you still have this global warming signal, but then you have this natural variability where you have this warm and cold spigot being turned on and off. The Gulf of Maine has been one of the fastest warming ocean regions in the world, but a shift in currents is happening. According to Vince Saba, a research fishery biologist at NOAA's Northeast Fisheries Science Center. Right now we're thinking that the cold spigot is being turned on, which is coming from the Labrador Current. The beginning of a cooling trend is most noticeable at deep levels of the ocean. When the fishermen are going out there, um, whether they're on wreck boats or commercial boats, they're always keying in on bottom temperature. Charlie Stock, a research oceanographer at NOAA's Geophysical Fluid Dynamics Laboratory, says NOAA is now producing seasonal and 10-year ocean temperature forecasts. Our hope here is to provide more information so that people can make the most informed decisions uh, possible. The forecasts are not for dramatic cooling, more of a pause, and still warmer than the long-term average. Cooler water species like cod, haddock may benefit, and then warmer water species, potentially like black sea bass, summer flounder, um, may have some negative effects. One of the goals is to inform the commercial fishing industry so they can anticipate which species may be more productive. We just haven't experienced it yet to see how they may respond because the ecosystem has changed so much. We have new species that weren't there before. So it's, it's basically um, a brand new baseline. Any changes will be monitored closely as catch counts come in later this year. It's still hard to say which species may benefit and which, which uh, may not. As for swimming this summer? I think one of the things that the forecast, at least for the summer, is showing is kind of the difference between the surface and the bottom. Dr. Andrew Ross, a research physical scientist, says that near the surface, moderately warmer than normal temperatures are expected. The real cooling is deeper and driven by a greater influence from the Labrador current. In the summer, the surface is picking up some of the atmospheric warming while we still have the cooler ocean water coming in near the bottom. So that's kind of different factors coming into play. This new trend showing the balance between long-term cycles and our warming climate. It doesn't mean that the Gulf of Maine is not warming. It still is warming, just not at the rate it has been warming over the last 10 to 12 years. And while this doesn't erase the warming that's happened, NOAA's new experimental model projections do signal a pause in that longer term warming trend, possibly for the next decade. So I think what we're seeing here is climate change and the Gulf Stream were really influencing our water. And now it's being counteracted a little bit by the Labrador current mm. more naturally. A pause for a decade, though, is a pretty big pause. It is. Yeah. And one question, you know, a lot of people wonder, what about lobster? You know, they yeah. had a boom in the Gulf of Maine around 2012 when the water really warmed up here and retreated from southern New England. They're a little more sensitive, but as I mentioned, those more bottom dwellers like cod and haddock, they may really benefit from that change. this pause. Yeah. Good information. Yeah. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you.